Have you wondered how the universe was created? We all know about things like atoms, but do we know how the atoms came together to cause the Big Bang? The four fundamental forces, the forces which joined these atoms together, they are the forces which created the universe. So, what are the fundamental forces? Question we should ask ourselves. Well, since they've created the universe, they have stayed since the universe has existed, since the beginning. Now, the fundamental forces show how particles will interact and how they decay. There are four types of fundamental forces. You have gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force. Nuclear force is also known as atomic force. Keep that in mind. Now, if we are to talk about the forces, let's start with gravitational force. Well, what is it? Gravitational force brings molecules closer together. It's also known as cohesive force when it does so. Gravitational force is the universal force of attraction. Gravity has the cool power to bend and co tie. Now, if you look at the formula of gravity, what does it even mean? It's F equals to G multiplied by M1 multiplied by M2 divided by R squared. So what does the formula mean? F stands for force. G stands for the gravitational constant. The gravitational constant is multiplied by M1 and M2, which is basically the masses. M1 and M2 multiply each other and they are divided by R squared. R squared is basically the distance between the centers of the masses. Now, let's move on to the next force, electromagnetic force. Electromagnetic force shows how moving and stationary objects interact. If these objects are charged positively or if they're charged negatively. Electromagnetic force acts between negatively and positively charged subatomic particles. The negatively charged particles are called electrons and positively charged ones are called protons. That's why electromagnetic force is known as electromagnetic force. And now, like magnetic force, the unlike poles, or in this case, unlike particles, will attract. And the like particles, or the similar ones, will repel. Let's move on. Strong nuclear force. Well, what is this force? As we all know, atomic force is also known as nuclear force. Anyway, strong nuclear force makes quarks into things like protons and neutrons. Quarks are a cool type of subatomic particle, by the way. Strong nuclear force also overpowers the repulsive force, which is made by positively charged protons. That's how many protons can come together to make different elements. Like for example, nitrogen, which contains seven protons. The protons would all repel, but because of strong nuclear force, it actually overpowers this repulsion force and it helps the protons come together. Strong nuclear force is also known as strong interaction. Now you have the weak nuclear force. What is this? Weak nuclear force is responsible for the decay of atoms. It is made by W and Z type bosons. Bosons are basically particles with a half integer spin. Weak nuclear forces trigger nuclear fusion, which is atomic fusion. So that brings us to the end of the fundamental forces. Thank you everyone for watching and goodbye.